Hey folks, it's Rifgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Prison Architect. All available. Next intake, 180. No, I don't think we're going to do that. Don't think we'll do that. I'm going to take five prisoners. Now, i got medium security, minimum security. I'm currently closed from max and super max. And also, we don't have the criminally insane or anything like that. So we'll take five prisoners. I've got low security and medium security, and we'll, we're will we going to try and get a good balance on the whole prison all the way through to make sure that everything does balance out nicely. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this perfectly, but I am going to give it my absolute bestest shot. Now, while I'm waiting for more prisoners to turn up, I could just go really, really fast through time, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go with a quick build over here. And I'm going to go canteen, shower, staff room. We've got workshop and shop over there. I need prison labors to do those. Common room. Shared cells. No, I don't want those. Oh, a medical bay would be a good idea. Hmm. Could be expensive, and I'm not sure where I want to put a medical bay just yet. What I would like to do is I'd like to use some of this space right here. And I'd like to do a... I can't do a quick build there, so we will go to foundations over this way. I can go for some of these fancy walls. We'll use those when we start expanding out our prison further. Right now, I'm going to put that in there like that. And that's going to use up that little space. That's actually a bigger space than I wanted to use for the idea that I've got. So I might extend the staff room a little bit. Though I don't think I need to. I think it'll probably be alright like that. I go walls and doors and... I'm going to put a staff door on there for now. But we will probably change that over later on. So it won't actually be a staff door later on. I have to wait and see. Now. Start that one there. See if you can guess what I'm trying to build in here. There's our staff door. There's that bit. So now let me slow down a minute, and we want to go to walls and doors. We go brick wall. I'll put a brick wall down there like that. And I want to put a brick wall along there like that. And I want to put a brick wall up there like that. I actually want to get rid of that, and I just want it to go along that bit there. So there, we've got brick walls being requested just on those bits. That should work. So let's go fast again. We should get this done before morning, and then we get our first five prisoners. Once the first five prisoners turn up, I've then got other ideas. Other things that I want to do. Go down a little bit, and then I want to go to rooms. And, right, store, uh, not storage. Have I got, st that's, a, that's a point, actually. I got exports, garbage and deliveries. I do not have storage. Should I have a storage room? Storage. I'm, I'm going to have to put. A, I'm going to put a storage zone out here. So we're going to go to flooring. I'm going to go with my uh, not stone. There, grass and stones. So that's the grass and stone. I really like that. I think that looks really cool. Let's go up here. This is going to be the storage area for now. I'm going to put that back slightly from the entrance. Actually, we're just going to do it like that. And then we're going to go into objects and we're going to go to lights. I'm going to put a light either side on here like this so that I've actually got some light out here. Because right now I can't see a thing. And out on the edge of the deliveries areas. Like that. And then this is going to come down here like this. On into there. And on and round like this. There's every other point, and then I'll put one there. And we've got these next to the road, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm gonna move that one, and that one must yeah, it will actually be the right spot to put that one there. And I'm going to go back, not the utilities, objects. Go back to objects and go to lights. And I'll put one there and there. And then we're going to head up here, putting lights next to the road. All the way up through. That one's in the right spot. Ideal. 
go up to there and then finally take that one i'm going to move that one up there so i don't need two of them next to each other that just looks weird that would just that yeah that that's the bit that i think looks weird <laughs> all of this all of these lights everywhere and that is the one bit that i think is just a step too far i'm doing more lights now just in case you hadn't noticed and there and then oh, that one will go there that'll work out quite nicely okay there we have a hundred lights a thousand light got loads of lights everywhere that's looking absolutely beautiful all the lights so i've now got i haven't actually done it i need to go back to this i've, I've got two room areas that i need to uh, set up now so i want to go to rooms i don't have psychiatrist office or anything like that i've got deliveries storage that's what we want in here so you are a storage zone that is storage so these items over here should now be put in oh wait a minute all those bits of timber that we got lying around out here they're coming up and they're getting them and they're bringing them into storage that's why they weren't bringing them over previously okay that's good i've now got storage taken care of and then I want to go up here to this wee one up here. And that is going to be infirmary, canteen solitary, security, morgue. Wait, what? Apparently that's not going to be anything at all. I need to go into bureaucracy. Cleaning is approved. Uh, I think I need to buy a cleaner in order to be able to do this. Now, I've got everything else in here. Orderlies we don't have. We're not going to worry about orderlies just yet. I won't worry about the rest of it. So I need to. I think I need to actually get a cleaner on staff. I have no janitor. So I'm going to get two gardeners. And I'm going to get two janitors as well. Then I'm going to go to rooms in here. And I'm hoping I'll have s storage... Any materials your prison needs? No. Visitation, common room. Cleaning cupboard. Did I, I already had it there. I already had that one. I already had a cleaning cupboard. There is the cleaning cupboard. Everything is everything is met. It needs a, a minimum of a 3x3. Three three. So I've got a lovely big cleaning cupboard in there. Loads of space in it. And I've now got groundskeepers and I've got cleaners as well. Plus I've got a whole load of cleaning chemicals coming in. And in two and a half hours, we're going to get our first prisoners turning up. So let's do this. And have you noticed that once they get a full stack of logs, then they move them down here in order to be able to sell them. I'm on minus 100 at the moment. That's because of the new cleaners and groundskeepers. But look, they're cleaning the prison up quite nicely. So there we go. I've now got new prisoners. Unknown reputations. Right, well, he's a low security, and then we've got two norm uh, four normal securities, and they're all going into the holding cells right now. So now I've got all of these, every single door is now closed all the way through because I've now got prisoners in the prison. And this area up here is going to become separated from the rest of the prison. And I'm going to sort of, like, I'm going to hide that behind walls so that people getting into those areas will need special passes or something along those lines in order to get in there. Um, I'm not 100% sure how we're going to do that yet. I've got meals up here. I've got the janitor is busy working automatically. So you've got to have the clean. This is what I did wrong previously. I didn't have a cleaning cupboard in my last playthrough, and that's why it wasn't working properly, because I had no cleaning cupboard. Now, I've only got two guards and i'm thinking that i ought to have five guards minimum for the prison right now i know that, that is one guard per prisoner at the moment but i'm i'm actually okay with that i am definitely okay with that now we need to go back to our reports over here i've got a number per day coming in i want to fill capacity now so that is filled to zero. So I've got a holding room right there, but I can only fill to zero. Which means that we won't get any new prisoners until I've actually got somewhere to put the prisoners in. I've got grants in here. Cell block A would be one of the first things that we need to be looking at. A complete basic detention center. Uh, unlocked finance. So I've, I've got that one ready. Inmate health and well-being. Build a medical ward. Hire at least two doctors and a psychologist. That's a 
pretty easy one to do. It's just where am I going to put the medical wing? I guess I could put the medical wing up here as well. Not too close to that bit. I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm trying to do some forward planning on here. Build a staff room. Have at least five guards without assigned duties. Ensure none of your staff are exhausted. I'll take that one. There we go. That was a nice easy ten grand. That's, that's all done. Short term investment. Give up five grand and then I get some back. So I'll take that one. Criminally insane wing. No, I'm not going to do that. Security procedure certification. Security chief. Hire ten guards. Unlock patrols. Assign three guards patrol duty. So I'm going to do that. Prison maintenance. Maintenance. Unlock cleaning. Unlock groundskeeping. Hire a foreman. Hire two janitors and hire a gardener. Let's do that because I'm pretty sure I've got that one all done as well. There's another 15 grand just come in. Grant completion. Medical ward and cell block A. Raise your prisoner capacity to 15. So we will do cell block A and we will do inmate health and well-being. So I can accept no more grants at the moment. I need to build a new cell block. The cell block is going to come down here. The medical wing is going to be up here somewhere, but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. I'm thinking... What I'm actually thinking is I'd like to move this down a bit and have that footpath away from the wall so I could put lights like that on the other side of the footpath against the wall all the way through. That's going to be a little bit pricey. Although we've got, I mean, we've got the money. We're, we're, that's going to be something that we'll do later, I think. Let's get a quick build for a medical wing. All right, I've got a medical ward right here, and I'm going to drop that one down there. Just like that. So I will remove that. I will take uh, flooring right here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Undo. Let's get rid of that. Let's go back to quick build. Go to my medical wing again. This time, let's have a brick wall, shall we? We'll put a brick wall on that one for now. And we'll put that one back into there, like that. Then I'm going to leave that light where it is. This light here. I'm going to dismantle that one for now. And then I'm going to go to flooring in here. And I'm going to go to sandstone. And that is going to be a single path out there and onto there. And that is going to be a single path going out there. So there is the flooring going into that area. I've got everything in there that I want with the medical wing. And all I need is two doctors to go with it. So we'll go into there and doctor. Doctor, doctor. There we go. Build a medical ward. They've just got to finish building that bit, and then we're done there. And I need to raise my prisoner capacity to um, 15. Grass. I'm going to do that right there. That's a bit of a job for them to go and do. That's absolutely fine. When we expand our prison, I don't know if I'm going to be getting all of these trees. I hope that I do, because all of these trees are going to be absolutely fantastic to use. Why are they... Oh, they're just automatically holding them. That's a very weird way of doing it. So let's whiz this along. We've got our five prisoners. They're sat in their holding cell and they're absolutely fine. They're, they're not causing any problems. I've got some deliveries will be turning up so that we can go and install all those bits. But right now my workers are busy ripping up all of these trees. I know what I do want to do. I've got 20 workmen. Is that enough? One. Two, three, four, five. So five more workmen. Now, at the moment, the daily cash flow is obviously going to drop down a bit. I'm going to make a boatload of money from the timber that's coming in. That's going to help us out quite nicely. Five guards should be enough at the moment. And we... I was told that I need roughly um, one guard per three inmates. So a 15... A ward for 15 people, a ward, a, a cell block for 15 people, that should work out just fine. That's not going to cause us any problems. I'm going to have a look in here and see if I should unlock any more stuff. Get legal prep, death row. I, I don't really want to do death row, but small cells. Cells in prison require a certain amount of space and fit legal requirements. But imagine how many more cells you could fit in if that wasn't the case. Removes the minimum size requirements for standard cells. I don't really want to put that in. I don't really... It, it, like, 
I know that it is just a game, but I, I, honestly, I don't like the idea of like making really small sales. I feel like I'd be re I would feel like I was being unnecessarily mean to my poor pixelated little people right here. I don't want to be unnecessarily mean to my poor pixelated people. I don't think that they need it. Four staff members are exhausted. Why are they all exhausted? Who's exhausted? Is it the guards? I'm hoping the guards aren't tired. I've got two cooks up here. They're not cooking for that many people, so I'm, I'm kind of hoping that they're not doing too bad. Look at where people go. Don't try to force them to go somewhere. Put the path where the people go. This is what, this is what I was told by someone that um, did a lot of maintenance work for somewhere. He said, don't try and put... Don't put footpaths down where you want people to go. Put the footpaths down where the people want to go. And basically what he was meaning is don't try to dictate where people can and can't go with footpaths because it will never work. It just doesn't work. They they won't go where you want them to go. I'll do that like that. And one there, one there, one there, one there. Oh, wait a minute. Cancel that one because I want to put in... Um, yeah, it, it basically, they're not going to go where you want them to go. People will walk where they want to walk. So if you help, if if you put the footpath down where they're already walking, then you're not going to have any problems. Basically, people are awkward. It's, 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 sum it all up. Is what he was saying. Is is pe people tend to be awkward. They tend to be difficult. So don't try to uh, unless you've absolutely got to. Unless you've got no choice in the matter, don't try to force them to go anywhere in particular. Just make it so that they. Um, the, the footpath is where people are already travelling. And it will just be a lot easier to do it like that. Now, I've got a whole load of timber there that we're selling, which means that we can now think about building our first cell block. And we want to build it down in here. This is going to be a lower security type area over here. So let's slow that down just a little bit. A little bit slower than we were. Quick build is a basic cell. Now, a basic cell is a bed and a toilet. An improved cell has a shower in it as well. And we've got the holding cell. We've got shared cells like that. I don't know how many people are in a shared cell. It doesn't tell me if I mouse over it. Are those bunk beds? Let's have a look. That's a single bed. Shared cell. Four people in those cells. Maybe we should do shared... C I'm kind of torn between individual cells and shared cells. I mean, personally, if I was in prison, I would rather have my own cell than have to share a cell with someone else. I know that for a fact. That's absolutely the case. Right, I've got four prisoners with serious complaints. Why do you have serious complaints? Let's just slow things down a minute. There's a few things that I need to do here. So start off with, not logistics, deployment. We've got minimum, medium, maximum, protected, supermax, insane, staff only. Now I've got nothing around the outside right here just yet. So I'm going to go with staff only on this outside area right here. That bit there is staff only. And then the yard is a shared zone right there. And so is the morgue. So is the canteen. And so is the kitchen. And then I'm going to have staff only in there. That one there, here. The individual offices, we will say staff only. Because there's no need for them to go into the rest of it. Can I put staff only out there? I'm assuming that I can. That office there, I'm not going to put staff only for a minute. I don't think I need to do anything else. Do I? I don't believe I need to change anything else around. Not at the moment. So we can leave that. I'll come out of that bit. And I now want to start building this actual... So I, I got the quick build. The actual room to put the, the cells in. Don't 
have anything for that. I've got planning here. Right. Build plans. Wall type selection. Are you ready to build your plan? This action cannot be undone. All planned walls will be constructed with the same wall type. Cancel. I see. I get it now. I absolutely get it. So I can put a wall down here. And I'm thinking if I bring that one in so that I have a footpath that goes around the outside of the cell block. I would like that. I would like a footpath to go around the outside of the cell block. So I'm going to put my cell block. It's going to be this big. There. Right. There's walls around the outside of it. Just like that. So then I can have pathways over here. Not sure what pathways does. I don't think I need to worry about pathways. Ah, right. I can right click and then mouse over and that just gets rid of the item there completely. So then I can go with you know what? Let's just let's let's clear that. Okay, clear. I'm I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not, I'm not going to worry about doing it like that. I'm simply going to go foundations. I'm going to go building brick in here. I'm going to take it three away from the edge because I kind of like the idea of having a footpath right around the edge of this block. And I'm going to pop that one down there like that. Six thousand like that. I've got a fence along the top. I'm going to take demolish walls. I'm going to remove the fence along there. I'm going to go building brick. I'm actually going to put that bit right the way along the front of that one there. And I'm going to then go to walls and doors here. I'm going to go with a large jail door. And that one's going to go in the middle up there for now. All right, so we, we've got the basics right there. They can start bringing all that in. I don't have very many guards. I think really I ought to get a few more guards because, quite frankly, things are a little bit crowded in here. And I've got tired guards because they, they do need to be everywhere, don't they? I'm going to have to try and get that. Staff are exhausted. Who, who are exhausted? We've got these. Okay, he's he's not happy. He's not happy. They're, 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 they're all upset. They're, they're all annoyed. Carrying a needle. Uh, recreation. Right. On break. They're, none of these guys seem to be very happy. They're all a bit upset about something. We, we, we... Why are you all so upset? Close. Reports. Uh, staff. On break. All I can do is fire them on there. I don't actually get any more details on them than that. Needs. Ah, staff needs. Here we go. Right. Food. Eleven staff are furious. Staff need to eat and we'll do so in staff-only canteens or staff rooms. Food will be delivered for your staff so that they don't have to eat the same slop as the prisoners. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. There was other needs there. There was toilet needs. Even your staff need to use the toilet occasionally. They will do so whenever they're on a break. They cannot meet this need. And rest. Right, my staff are not happy. They don't seem to have a toilet anywhere that they can use. So do I need to build a staff toilet in here? How do I do that? I need to go to rooms... I've got a staff room, but I don't seem to have a toilet for the staff. So I'm thinking that I could build a small toilet block here. Now, I, I don't know if I'm on the right track or not with this. So we'll, we will soon find out. I'm going to put that like that. That like that. There. And there. This is actually an ideal use of... The bit that we've got right here. So this is going to be staff doors. Like that. And then we will go for uh, objects. 
and lights and I will add in some additional lights like that and then I will take toilets I got a bathroom sink right there no hygienic bathroom is complete without one uh this is a problem because I don't have a, it doesn't say bathroom anywhere I, I, for actual I don't I don't have like a separate bathroom assignment so I'm not really sure what to do about that. Now I'm kind of thinking that I want to get rid of this lot. And the wall. I can put the doors in. I'll have to move those in a minute. But I'll do this as like a double one. Walls and doors, brick wall. Actually, I could just bring it. No, I don't want to bring it down to there. I'll bring it out a bit. I'll put wall there. And I'll do it so there's a, there's a double wide on each of them. All right? And it'll go out to there. So I got three bathrooms in here. This is what we're going to go with. Did I get rid of that? No, I didn't get rid of the door. So I don't want the... I, I want one of those doors moved. I put that one. Oh, that door's already been moved. Staff door move over to that side right now walls and doors brick wall we will put one is that all going into the right places i'll put a brick wall there i can't put a brick wall here that's a door that needs to be moved and then we can put the other stuff so while i'm waiting for some other things to come through there i want to go back to uh, well, the staff door right there, I can put one there, and I can put one there. I've actually got that one now moved, so that one can go there. And then we will go out of here, and that light will move over to there. So that one's even as well. Then we can go to objects right here. Bathroom sink. We'll put that on the wall at the back. Actually, we'll put it on that wall. I'll put a sink there, a sink there, and a sink there. I'll put a hand dryer... There, there, and there. And then I want a toilet. Toilet, toilet, wherefore art thou toilet? There, toilet. There is only one type of toilet that we can get. So we put one there, one there, and one there. So we've got private toilets here. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is a thing that I'm supposed to be doing or not. i got absolutely no clue. I'm hoping that it works. That's what I'm hoping for. We've got a oval table right here there's a fancy table there for the warden's office we'll put that that can go there he can have a fancy table in his office here we've got the sinks and toilets coming in utilities small pipe put those across there like that so i've got small pipes in and they will fit all of the sinks and everything i don't, I don't think i need to go any further than that i think i just go like that and they will put all of that lot in. Let's speed that up a bit so that we can install all of those. I'm hoping then that our members of staff will be able to use this. Now, we've got four prisoners of serious complaints and staff morale is low. So there's the toilets as soon as the workers have finished installing them. You fit everything? Right, I've now got toilets. They're going a little... They're, they're, they're alright, they're going a little bit fast. They're coming in here to watch... They're coming in here to watch his TV. I've only got a radio in here. We need a TV. Objects. Outdoor table. No. Where's the television? Where's the television? Our workforce is getting a little bit tired, so we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.